My name is Gloria Sleeby and I'm a consumer member at Eastern Health. My journey with Eastern Health started when my father was admitted with pneumonia and not long after he was discharged my mother was um, admitted with pericarditis. Since then my mum and dad have been in and out of hospital so many times that even the concierge at the front door starts to know us by name and we jokingly say that they actually have holidays at the hospital away from each other. <laughs> uh, my father actually died about nine years ago now and so that intensified our journey at Eastern Health. Um, but most of our family members actually visit Eastern Health and the changes from 17 years ago until now are extraordinary. 17 years ago if you came to Box Hill Hospital people used to wonder why no one would advise you to go there whereas now the tide is changing it is more about consumer input and um, I suppose being in involved in your care at the hospital. I've been on the patient experience of care committee probably about three years now. Um, the committee is responsible for the quality standards um, quality standards of clinical care at Eastern Health and having a consumer on that committee helps to provide input as opposed to your traditional feedback. So we're involved in the development of the organisation's um, programs as far as patient care goes. We've started most recently um, a project where it involves co-design and the consumer has an input as to how we're going to actively involve patients in their journey. So it's no longer the doctor is saying this is what you need to do, it'll also involve the patient asking more questions and maybe um, being offered other options to suit what they would like. We also, I think in the um, committee, have embraced diversity much more. Having the voice in the committee, um, given the changes that have happened, allows the patients or even us as consumers to make sure that what the patients want is actually heard, not just, I suppose, a token. It is actually being seen and being heard and hopefully being implemented and seeing the changes on the ground. The success of the committee, first and foremost, probably comes from the leadership of the committee, um, the willingness of the leaders to involve consumers so that consumers don't feel just as a token and listening to what changes can be made to help them not feel just tokenistic. The patient story that comes to mind is when my father was diagnosed with cancer, um, he was at the hospital and we worked out from having been at the hospital so many times over the last 17 years that to be able to speak to a doctor you needed to be there the first thing in the morning when they did their rounds. That's if you wanted to be fully informed. I'm hoping that as a consumer voice or a carer voice on the Patient of Experience Committee, perhaps we can make changes to that that allows patients, families, to also access information about their care to be able to assist them in a, a more quality experience. The composition of the Patient of Ex Experience of Care Committee um, has a variety of allied health, nursing, clinical care, as well as the CEO and the Director of Planning and Innovation. And we meet on a monthly basis. But at the Patient Experience of Care Committee, we look at the quality of care, and that can involve looking at noise at night for patients, diversity of menu for patients, and also different forms of communication with patients. The strategy of putting the patient first is a new strategy. We are still working on benchmarks and we will be reviewing those so that we can determine that our strategies that we put in place will actually give us a benchmark to report against.